Hello everybody. Um, I wanted to make a quick video on troubleshooting missing files in DAS and uh, show you an application that I use daily for finding missing files on my computer. Usually I would use this application to confirm the location of a uh, file, usually an image or an OBJ file that DAS is looking for. And if we can't find it in this application, that usually means it's not on your computer at all. And you have to go back into the zip file to actually find the missing files. Or if it's not located in the zip file, then the person who packaged the zip didn't install it correctly. So let me show you the application. This is the application right here called Everything. And uh, you can use this app to find any file on your computer almost instantly. I can't even say almost. It will instantly find whatever you're looking for if it's located on your computer. You have to go to Void Tools to download it. VoidTools.com to download it. So let me show you how to use it. So I have this old Victoria 3 file that I used to use on Poser back in the days. And uh, I still use it. But uh, as you can see here, when I try to open it up, it's looking for a JPG image that's supposed to be in a runtime textures, Orion, Fawn, Fawn, Jacket, Trans. It's looking for this file, but it can't find it because it's not in this location. So instead of me trying to go searching through, looking for this, I will use the everything application. And as you can see, it's updating stuff as it's going through. So what I'll do is I'll click locate and it goes inside here and this is obviously the wrong location for the file so I'll take the file right here I'll copy it and I'll paste it into the everything application and as you can see it just instantly pops up the location of where the file is actually located so what I'll do is I just right click I'll say copy full name to clipboard then I don't really need this anymore. I'll go right here, delete this out, and paste in the path that I just copied. Click OK. And there it goes. It found the textures that was missing for this, this top. So let me show you another example. Um, find an example of one that's broken with an OBJ. Three. Here we go. Mm, I don't think this is missing an OBJ. I think this is one that's missing. Missing textures also. Let's try this one. This one's also missing textures. So I just click this. Click that. Go into the everything application. And go into the everything application and paste it in there. Click on it, right click, click copy full name to clipboard, and then click paste it, and there goes the found the textures. So this is just a texture issue here. There's another one that's actually missing, I think it's this one. Let's see if I can find this on my computer. I mean it does. Yeah, this one is a troublesome one. So I'm going to open this one. This one, as you can see, is missing the OBJ file. It's not in the geometry location, so I'll go locate. And it's looking for an OBJ. So I click copy. And I just paste it inside here. And there it is. As you can see, let me show you how quickly it is. That's how quickly it finds it. Just right click, copy, and then I paste the path, and then I click open. But as you can see, it's still looking for a JPEG image. So this is an example of not going to, I won't be able to find this image when I put it in. As you can see, I put it in image is not located on my computer so in this ex 
in this example would be that the f JPEG image that's supposed to come with this outfit is not on my computer anywhere. Every single drive that I have, every single location that I wanted it to search, it can't find this JPEG image. So what usually what I'll have to do is I'll have to go back to the original zip that I got it from and check the locations there using let me cancel this using this path here and usually what I have to do is I'll go to runtime libraries character vendor name product then look for this tiff file inside the zip file following that path this path here is just the location of my poser that I had installed uh, on my computer so I'm not going to re really see that on the zip file but I will see a runtime folder I will see a uh, a libraries folder in that runtimes folder for this product inside the original zip so if this is not located in the original zip then that means the person who packaged this product or this item to share with me or to sell to me or to whatever never put this tip for me to find it so that that would mean that I have to go back to the vendor or the person who made the package and request that they put these images onto my onto a new zip for me to be able to use if this was located if he gives me if he randomly gives me this this tiff file i could put it anywhere on my computer and i'll just have to go into the everything app find the path and just click locate and then put the path inside here like i put anything else but since i don't have these files at all these images i will have to skip this but i still have the obj the obj i solved that because that was still on my computer somewhere I just didn't have the textures for it. So it's not really that important for me on this issue because I could just re reshade this with a, a shader and make it some other texture or whatever I want. But that's just an example of looking for a file. And if the file is not on the computer, if you search with the Everything app, because the Everything app will search everything on your computer for the location of whatever you're looking for. And if everything can't find it, that means you have to go back to the source which is that zip and look for it in there manually the everything app can't search zip files so you're gonna have to go into the zip file manually and go through the path but thankfully there's not a lot of stuff usually inside the as and poser files so you could just pretty much just follow the path and you will see if it's located there or not if it's not located on the zip file you just don't have the file because it's not located on your computer because everything didn't find it and it's not located on the zip because you search, you manually search through the zip and look for it. So that means you don't have that texture. So that's just a way that I find missing files for objects. Because usually it's on your computer. It's just located sometimes in a different location than where this file is looking for it. So as long as you can find where this, the, the name of the file, when that pops up, and you put it inside the Everything app, if it's on your computer, the Everything app is going to find it. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. I recommend you go download this app because there's, a, there's going to be a lot of times where you download um, those uh, game port characters and it turns out that they're missing textures. And it's either you put it in the wrong location or... It's just not there at all. The Everything app will tell you where it is. And you won't have to be asking around, how do I find this missing file? Because the Everything app is just going to find it for you. So I hope that helps you guys. And uh, take care.